guys welcome to vtishacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about hemisphere so in this video we are going to discuss this topic under six different sections so coming to the first section where we are going to deal with the interaction to hemisphere and in the next section we are going to discuss the formation of hemisphere and in the third section we are going to discuss the curved surface area whereas in the fourth section we are going to deal with the formula to find the total surface area of hemisphere and in the next section we are going to discuss the formula to find the volume of hemisphere and in the last section we are going to deal with few examples so first let me define a sphere so sphere is a round geometrical object in three dimensional space that resembles the shape of a round ball so here there is a geometrical object in three dimensional space and it resembles the shape of a round ball so such geometrical object is called as sphere and sphere have only one face and it doesn't have any edge or a corner and then coming to the next section where we are going to discuss the formation of hemisphere so here hemisphere is formed when a plane passes through the center of the sphere so here you can able to see a sphere and a plane which passes through the center of the sphere so this plane divides the sphere into two equal parts and here each part is called as hemisphere and then coming to the next section where we are going to discuss the formula to find curved surface area so curved surface area of hemisphere includes the area of side portion so here you can able to see a sphere which is divided into two equal parts by a plane and each part is the hemisphere so here we can say that curved surface area of hemisphere will be equal to half of the curved surface area of sphere we can write this as 1 by 2 into 4 pi r square where 4 pi r square is the formula to find curved surface area of sphere so hence we get the formula for curved surface area of hemisphere as 2 pi r square square units and now let us discuss an example on this formula so here given example is find the surface area of hemisphere of diameter 20 cm so here we are given diameter 20 cm so let us write d equal to 20 so that implies we can write r equal to half of diameter that is d by 2 which will be equal to 10 cm here and then to find the surface area of hemisphere we already know the formula that is 2 pi r square square units and then substituting the value of r in the formula we get 2 into 22 divided by 7 into r square that is 10 square which will be 10 into 10 and here multiplying all the terms we get 4400 divided by 7 so here by simplifying we get the result as 628 4 by 7 cm cube as the surface area of hemisphere and then come into the next section where we are going to deal with the total surface area of hemisphere so total surface area includes the area of curved surface and also the area of base so hence we can say total surface area of hemisphere is equal to curved surface area plus area of base and here the curved surface area is 2 pi r square and whereas area of the base is pi r square so adding both the areas we get 2 pi r square plus pi r square which is equal to 3 pi r square square units so we get 3 pi r square square units as the total surface area of hemisphere and now let us discuss an example on this formula so here the given example is find the total surface area of hemisphere if area of base is 154 cm square so here area of base that is pi r square is given as 154 and therefore let us find the value of r so in order to get the value of r 
Let us transfer pi to the right hand side. So we get here r square is equal to 154 into the reciprocal of the value of pi that is 7 by 22 here. So here by simplifying we get 22 1 time is 22 and 22 7 times is 154. So we get here r square is equal to 7 square. So that implies we can say r equal to 7 centimeters. And now we have to find the total surface area. So total surface area is given by the formula 3 pi r square square units. So substituting the value of 7 in the formula we get 3 into 22 divided by 7 into r square and that is 7 into 7 and here by simplifying we get 7 1 time is 7 and 7 1 time is 7 and here by multiplying 3 into 22 we get 66 into 7 we get the product as 462 centimeter square which is the total surface area of hemisphere and then coming to the next section where we are going to discuss volume so volume of hemisphere includes the area of all the surfaces and also the amount of space contained in it. So the volume of hemisphere will be equal to half of sphere as hemisphere is formed by dividing the sphere into two equal parts. So thus we get here 1 by 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube where 4 by 3 pi r cube is the formula to find the volume of sphere. So hence we get the formula to find the volume of hemisphere as 2 by 3 pi r cube cubic units. And now let us discuss an example on this formula. So here given example is find the volume of hemisphere if the radius is equal to 5 centimeters. So here we already know the formula to find the volume that is 2 by 3 into pi r cube. And then substituting the value of r in the formula we get 2 by 3 into 22 divided by 7 into r cube that is 5 cube which is nothing but 5 into 5 into 5. So here by multiplying all the terms in the numerator we get 5500 divided by the denominator 21. And here by simplifying we get the result as 261 into 19 by 21 centimeters cube. And remember volume is always measured in cubic units. So this was the basic introduction on hemisphere. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.